What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial and today I'm going to show you on how to make a really cool and simple road uh, system uh, using the spline layer system from the landscape. It's going to be a very easy video to follow and fast. So let's get started. Alright, so first of all, it's going to go ahead and get a simple um, road model that we can use. In my case, I have found this really cool model in Sketchfab, which is completely free. And I will be leaving the link in the description so you can go ahead and load it. Now, we will be modifying it on Blender, but if you want to skip this part and you're not very good Blender, whatever, I will be leaving a link uh, so you can load the modified version um, of the model in the description. So you can basically skip into the time they're using on here in the screen. Uh, so you can just skip this part, okay? All right, so just go ahead and load the 3D model and just load the FBX. Just go ahead and extract it into the folder. Let's go into source. And then you can see that we have there the basically the road model. So now we have to open Blender to modify it. So once we have Blender opened, we're gonna go ahead and just delete all this. And then let's go to file, uh, import, FBX. I'm gonna find the road. I'm gonna go into source and get the uh, FBX loaded in. And you can see that we have the um, road appearing on here. And the reason that we are modifying it is that because it is too long, then our curves will not have so much um, basically space to bend and it will just look very, very, very bad. <laughs> so we have to make this shorter. So let's go and press tab to go into the um, into the edit mode. And then uh, what we're going to do it just um, hit Ctrl R and then this line will appear. Click it and then another line will appear. And basically we're gonna use this to basically cut it. So we're gonna go just into around here. So when you see uh, the, one, the first um, section, I'm gonna go into the second section and just around here, just press it and then it will create a loop cut over here. So now what we can do is select um, all these vertices that are right now on here. Press X and then press vertices. And we'll basically delete all that part of the road. And we'll do the same with the uh, other part. Go to R, we go press it and then we can use, so one and two. So over here, we're gonna cut it, uh, select all these vertices, X and vertices. And then make sure you always delete everything. We go and now we only have a short section on a road model so that's really cool so now what we have to do is go into edit mode press a and then we have to go into uv editing because the uv editing was set up to the old um model so now we have to modify it okay so in order to do this what we have to do is go into uh, view uh, align view sorry in viewport and just go into top now just hold alt and um, you just press the middle mouse button and then you can go ahead and just move it uh, to be positioned uh, with forward looking like this. So now what we're going to do is press uh, U and then project from view. And then this will appear right here with the new UVs. You select everything and just go into the uh, scale and then uh, selecting the outer sphere. You just make it much bigger, kind of like this, nearly tucking, uh, touching the borders. All right, now I can go back into the layout and you can see that we have our uh, road over here really cool. But there's something that I want to change and it's the sides. I want them to be uh, going down. Let's go back into the edit mode and you select all of these vertices and we can just uh, with G basically move them, okay? So uh, it's a bit hard to kind of make it look better. So what I, I would do is just directly delete these parts over here and now we can just select the, this point and this point with control and just with G kind of move it. And now it looks a bit better. And then I'm gonna put this over here so it's a bit smoother. And we'll do exactly the same with the other side. So X vertices. I mean, this is just if you want it uh, to look much better. So you like this, um, actually gonna delete that. I also delete that and delete that. And then I just get this, okay? Uh, move it like this. And then if you press E, you can extrude. So we cannot 
go ahead and match what we had on the other side i know it's not exact um but it will do the trick uh, right now okay okay so once we have our road um we are gonna uh, press a and sorry i'm gonna go back into the uv editing and just press u right from view again um just to update the things the, the changes that we did uh now we can go back to layout and just in the object mode select it and now we can export it so just go on uh, file export as an fbx just find a place that you want to export it uh rename it into road spline or whatever you want and then up here we're gonna just uh limit to to the selected objects and now we can just export it as a fbx with all that settings at default and like i mentioned before you can just load the model in the description okay so now let's hop back into unreal engine and let's just go ahead into file new level i'm just gonna create a new basic one or you can use the level you want and what we're going to do is just import these uh road so just drag it into unreal engine and now just press import all with the default settings this is a warning for these smoothing groups uh doesn't matter and there we go we have our road over here um as we did it from uh, blender so really cool okay so now what we're going to do is um go ahead and create a simple landscape of course if you already have a landscape created it's okay but i'm just gonna delete this floor let's go into landscape and then um you have to make sure that you have enable edit layers ticked uh, this is just because we're going to be using different layers uh for these splines so make sure that's ticked and then you can just create it and if you really have the you know the um the landscape ready just select it and just search for edit and you can just enable there but okay let's go back into landscape mode and now we're gonna go into manage now you can see that we have a layer here which is the default one well right click on it create and then this is gonna be a new one which is gonna be the uh, road roads um spline and then just right click it i'm gonna reserve it for splines only and i'm gonna click yes so we only can use this layer for splines uh it which it's just a bit more convenient for the use that we can do it so now what we can do is just go up here and select the splines tool and we are just gonna find an area and we have to do is just hold ctrl and then left click and now a new point will appear and now we can just find another point hold ctrl and left click and now there we go we are forming a road you start go ahead and placing more splines as you can see to make it as well how you like in my case kind of like this really, really cool you can see there are splines are forming and there's already a kind of road looking like this of course now we have to uh, do some changes to it but as you can see you can select different points and then change the height or whatever and the terrain will basically align um in in its to its needs so it it's just a bit more convenient and much better for well the things that we're going to be using it and it's really really cool because you can create really fast and really cool looking levels with it so now we have to place a road so don't worry i will be also leaving a link on the description so you can load the model that i modeled um for the uh, road uh so you having troubles with blender you know you can go ahead and just download it so now you select uh the one of the mountains on the uh spline just go into here into segments so it will basically select all of the spline system and now we can go down into spline meshes we can now add one and then just drag in our road splines and there we go we can see that already um the well there's meshes being applied on our uh, system now of course it looks very bad because it's um you know overlapping with the ground and it is too big for uh uh, some curves okay so to you know fix this what we can do is just go into here in the center adjust and in the y-axis is placed for example a 10 so it will uh, just go up and lift it and now uh, to make it a bit smaller what we can do is go into scale in the x-axis and just put a 0.3 for example and now it will start looking much much more better um, now a thing that we have to do now is just apply a road material into our spline so i'll be using this quick so just go into window quick so bridge 
So when it opens, you go ahead into the uh, search bar and use uh, search for American road. You can see that we have some uh, cool roads. So I'm going to use um, this road over here, which is just the fine American road. Let's go ahead and the quality that you want. Download it and then just press add and it will be added into your project. So when it's downloaded, you'll go into Metscan surfaces and you can see that we have uh, the material on here. So now we can use just open the um, mesh that we have before. Just change the material to use the road on the American. We go save it and now you can see that we have the uh, material being applied on our road and it's already looking really really cool so if we were to go ahead and play the game over here you will see how cool it looks and we can play it has all the um collisions set up basically and yeah, you know you have a vehicle you can start going ahead and driving on your game really cool so you guys if you found this tutorial useful and helpful i really appreciate it you could like the video and subscribe i have lots of unreal and tutorials out there so if you want to check it out go ahead also we are so near reaching 2k subscribers so if you want to help me out go ahead and subscribe right now and now with all that said bye bye